Now that we know more about packaging and likely already know the type of packaging we're going to use or move towards, it's time to talk about designing the product label as well as where and how to get barcodes for your products. Let's get started. As I've mentioned in this module, every type of packaging that you'll ever use will require a label to be printed on it. This label is the key to making sure that everything runs smoothly in your business. It's that important. So make sure you watch closely and take your time getting this right with your supplier. The packaging must have a clear visible label printed on it. Your supplier will do this for you. The label must show the EAN or UPC of your item. This is your product's barcode. Next, I recommend having your brand name and or logo printed on this label. I also recommend printing a short product title too, which is basically a description of your item boiled down to a few words. For example, six foot blue pool rake. Finally, and this is extremely important, I highly recommend printing your item's SKU on there too. This code is your key to quickly identifying the item. Barcode and SKU are absolutely critical on this label. The rest are recommended, but they're not mission critical. The size of the label is relative to the size of your packaged product. Generally speaking, your label should be A6 size. That is 150 millimeters by 105 millimeters, with the only exception being when the item is smaller than A6 size. In this case, make the label size equal to the longest available side of your packaging. The barcode should measure at least 26 millimeters in height by 38 millimeters in width, and it must be scannable by a barcode scanner for it to be accepted into FBA. Here's what the label will look like on your packaging. As you can see, this is 150 millimeters wide and 105 millimeters in height. Copy this format and ask your supplier to print it as described here. You can even draw it up for them in a package like PowerPoint or Photoshop as shown here to give them a visual depiction of exactly what you're looking for. Now, a big question I always get from my clients is, where should I get my barcodes from? Firstly, you must purchase your own barcodes. This is vital. If you don't, then technically your barcode is not unique. This will cause you major hassles if another item in Amazon happens to have the same barcode. Barcodes must be GS1 originated. This is the worldwide body that oversees the use of barcodes. A unique barcode is required for each product you sell. If you have different colours or packs, then you'll need barcodes for every different colour and for each pack that you sell. You won't need a barcode for your bonus item as this is part of your core offer and is packed with that item. The barcode covers the entire offer, that is core product plus bonus, packed as one sellable unit. I recommend buying a cost-effective batch that would range between 25 to 100 barcodes. You can buy these at www.nationwidebarcode.com. This is the best seller that I've found who sell barcodes that are GS1 compliant. Avoid using sites such as eBay to buy cheap barcode batches, as you can't be certain that the barcodes you've bought are in fact actually yours and are actually unique. When you're sending your label to your supplier, you'll have to generate your own barcode first before sending it to them. There are many online barcode generators that can do this for you. You simply take the barcode you're using for a product and enter the number into the barcode generator. This will generate a scannable barcode image that you can send onto your supplier to put onto your label. Simply Google barcode generator to find one that can do this for you. Once you have the barcode, you now have everything you need for your label. As you've already created your SKU, your short title and your brand, send it all to the supplier and make sure they adhere to the label sizing requirements we gave you.